hey guys welcome to the reality welcome and basically we're here to tell you everything you want to know about tiktok drama reality tv honestly whatever it is we're just gonna keep it real and you know yeah. follow the journey with us exactly okay so on today's episode we're gonna be talking about dun 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 uh, big brother big brother canada big brother canada yeah yeah Okay, so do you want to, like, explain kind of what Big Brother Canada is? or? I mean, it's um, it's basically a game show that... Um, We're all, like, there's people, I contestants mean, in a house. Right, the contestants in a house that win money in the end. Yeah, 100,000. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay, and then the runner-up wins 50K? No. Or 25? I heard it was 20, actually. 20k but that's like such a big difference i feel like on the u.s it's like not... i think it's half of them i think it's half of the money is it okay so then i'm wrong don't quote me on that people and guys we're considered big brother fans so <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> I think the number changed to be honest i know probably um yeah so they basically compete to win something in the end yeah, um, basically what it is, there's an HOH, which is head of household, that nominates uh, two house guests for eviction. So the two house guests pick two other players, and apparently, which is so weird, I never knew this, that in Big Brother Canada, the HOH doesn't compete. Right, yeah, they don't. That's so weird, because for, Big Brother US, they do. No, they don't for one week, so they can't even, so they're not even allowed to compete in the next running HOH. So then after yeah. POV, whether someone wins POV takes himself off, or if someone wants to take the other player off or what ha whatever the reason is then uh everyone while well, the remaining house quest um basically vote to evict and if it's a tie the hoh votes so it's kind of interesting it's kind of fun and yeah so don't watch because we're basically going to be explaining uh yesterday's episode which was april 22nd yeah spoilers so spoilers okay yeah. so everyone we're giving you three seconds to click off one, two, two, three. three. All right, go ahead. Explain basically the team. I can't even I know. imagine what was okay. So basically, Tara has won the HOH. Yeah. This was previous. Tara won the HOH. She put up Jed, well, uh, Jetson and Beth. Okay, so basically, if you don't know Jed and Beth or Jetson and Beth, they're basically kind of like the showmance, which is basically the romance of the house yeah and kind of crazy stuff they're basically the power duo well first yeah. let's backtrack basically they're in an alliance called the sauce the, sun, the sauce well the yeah there's, oh my god we have to talk about that after okay yeah so basically there's the sauce and that the keeps, sunsetters okay you want to say the sunsetter first okay we'll do that okay so no go with the sauce go okay okay <laughs> so the sauce so that's um beth um to sean ripping uh montreal yeah. and uh um, represent and uh who else is it i said Beth and uh, jed and jed correct so they're in uh an alliance called the sauce or the isosceles triangles as they like to call themselves yeah so yeah and then uh you want to say wh who's in the sunset i don't even remember i do remember but Kiefer, yeah. jed beth tashawn and i think uh what's, what, what was, was it tina 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 oh, yeah tina she's long gone there. yeah long, yeah she left about two weeks ago or a week ago already a been... week ago. Oh, I thought it's been longer than that. Yeah. Oh, it's because you watch it like the day of. So like I always watch it the day after because I'm watching it online. So like it's even yeah. more complicated. Anyways, so yeah. yes, continue what you were saying about putting up and all that. And like, so Tara puts up Jed and Beth. <gasps> and then after the eviction happens, they go on the Monday uh, part of the show. Yeah. They try to win something. And then comes POV. <laughs> Which is power veto. I don't know if I mentioned power that veto, before. Which is, means that if someone's on the block and they win POV, they get to, to remove themselves and take someone else off the block. Um, no joke. Jed wins POV. He wins it, everyone. Do you understand? He wins it. He can and save usually, himself. Yeah. And usually, the one who's on the block and wins POV usually takes themselves off. Yeah. Like, it, like oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> I mean, ah! 100% of the time, you remove yourself to be free. Exactly. He removed his girlfriend off and kept himself on the block. Like, okay, that's like the dumbest move in Big Brother history. Yeah, like, honestly, I mean, like, in a way, it, I understand it's me legendary. Too. Me because too. Because he, he, he could have stayed. Yeah, because basically, this is what happened to sum up basically what you were saying. So, he wins POV. 
I don't know, for whatever reason, is saying, oh my god, I love you so much, Beth, I'll take you off, all this stuff. But in reality, what he thought was going to happen is that he was going to stay. By taking Beth off, it would... Okay, so basically, if they were both stayed on the block, the only two people that would stay, like, vote to evict would be uh, Brayden and Kiefer. Yeah. So he was like, Sean. shit, like... Oh, and to Sean, my... The, true. So then it would be like, okay, he still had the votes. Anyways... So, he takes Beth off so that it's another vote on his side. Because he didn't think, this is where it gets crazy, everyone. He didn't think Ty was going to change, was going to switch. Yeah. I, like, I mean, it, it would have been, th- it would have been two, probably to one. Like, who knows? Keeper probably wouldn't have voted to keep him. Let's be yeah, real. No, let's be real, for sure. But. But. Oh, my God. It's, it's just a whirlwind. So, Jed ends up on the block next to Brayden. Yep. Oh, yeah, Tara nominates Brayden. Yeah, that's true. And Tara nominates Brayden because uh, Jed took off Beth off the block. Mm-hmm. And then they literally vote off Jed. I know. They were it was so mean Rita to Zero, him. Rita Zero, Beth, Tashawn, and Kiefer yeah. all voted him out. Okay, first of all, I was watching this with my dad. Shout out to dad, my dad, okay? And my mom, too. Shout out, mom. Um, But my dad was literally like, because my dad hasn't been watching the season. Like, me and my mom have been watching all of it. But, so my dad's like, we're all sitting there. My dad's going... I can't believe Beth didn't vote to evict Brayden. I know. Like, who cares? Like, we all knew Beth, um, Jed was going home anyways. So might as yeah. well his own friggin' girlfriend didn't even vote to keep him. No. She removed him. Literally. <sighs> She's such a snake, honestly. I know. Wow. You know what? She might, she might win it. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh, stop. I'll literally never watch. <laughs> yeah. I'll literally I never it, watch. I hope it's Deshaun, which I represent. Yes, but, I hope it's Deshaun too, but like... Uh, who knows? Yeah. So then Jed goes home. Yeah. And as soon as he walks out the big brother doors, to his right is a sign. That says, that says you're still in the game. So then he goes into a room and oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, I never knew that door was there from the HOH room. I know. Never even noticed that. Wouldn't have known. I know. That's crazy. I know. So basically. Unless it's another room. Because I feel like Tara would just walk, walk back upstairs. Because the room was clean. There was no bed. There was yeah, no stuff. Yeah, probably. They probably already cleaned it. Yeah, could be. But. Yeah. And, uh, and then everyone goes back to the living room. Because it's double eviction. Them. Well, fake and double eviction. Double eviction. Yeah. yeah. So they go back outside. They play HOH. Yep. Guess who wins? Our boy Tom. Our boy Ty. We love that. So Ty wins HOH. He puts up Beth and Tara. Yeah. Me thinking Beth is going to go home and all realistic. Thinking Beth is going to go home, right? Nope. They go back outside, play POV to get themselves off the block. Brayden wins. His first ever comp win. His first ever competition. And then he literally doesn't do anything. Keeps them. Keeps the nominations the same. And he... They vote out to Vic Tara. Okay. This is the logic that honestly bothered me, okay? If I was Brayden, I would have taken off Tara and put Kiefer yeah. up. So yeah. then one of those two big players have to have gone home. Yeah. Like, then, Tara wasn't a big player, but she also deserves to win. Well, I feel like uh, Tara was she deserved to win only because she voted out. Though. Jed out. Yeah, sorry, Jed. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. So now, I did the episode, it shows Jed and Tara going to a game. And whoever wins that game gets back into the house. I know. Isn't it crazy? Like, I Wait, honestly... Who are you hoping you hope is going to win? Oh, my... Okay, first of all, it's not a coincidence that they're doing this battle back now. They're doing it because Jed it was on the block. This is my yeah. conspiracy theory. Because they know if Jed comes back, it's going to be great t- uh, TV. Like, literally. Yeah. It's going to be the best yeah. TV. Because then he's going to want to get out Ty and Kiefer. Like, it's going to be crazy. So, I yeah. also think that they designed the comp. But then again, like, ugh. like I wonder what they have but to do. They've in the done comp. this though. They have. They've brought back a nominee. Yeah. Oh. An, uh, sorry, an eviction. But was it always like a later on, like final yeah, five? It was oh, always shoot. yeah. Because I was getting all excited. It's kind of reoccurring, yeah. It's happened. I don't know if it happened last year, but I'm. It's, a, it's, a, it's not the first time. It's a double eviction. Okay. Have Fake you ever seen this comp before? No. Huh. It's basically we don't really know what the competition is, but it's called what is it called again? Heads. Rolling or something. Yeah, heads are rolling. Yeah, rolling heads. Something along those lines. Yeah. And basically, it looked like a long 
platform, I guess, and they had like multiple like balls and they colors had, yeah, and stuff, yeah, stuff yeah, like I that. Know. And they maybe I don't like we don't know anything about the competition and yeah. all the live feeds are down, which is even stressing me out even more. Yeah, because we can't watch spoilers, so we don't know what's going I know, on. And I always watch spoilers too. Um, if you had to pick one to win, who would you want to win? Okay, if Jed was back in the house, okay. No, now I'm saying with Jed and Tara out. Okay, then I want Ty to win. Four, I want Ty to win. Yeah, I mean, I would take Ty too. Because I think it's the best move that Ty has Took done. Out? Yeah, taken. Well, okay. Ty has a what? He's won a POV, the HOH now, and he also went against his alliance and yeah. got him out. Yeah. I have a feeling that 90% of the alliances, like, they're, they're usually like to the end. Yeah. So for him to turn is kind of like. Huh. Like you're kind of you're kind of acting smart now, you know? Yeah. Like he's playing for himself. He's not playing for his team. Exactly. But know? then like again, his, like oh, I kind of like Kiefer. And my mom and dad I, are going to kill me for saying that cuz they hate him. Really Kiefer? Yeah, they think You he's... know what? He played an amazing game. He has. He was part of the Suns. He was part He still is part of the Sunsetters. Yeah. Um, he got his way out with uh, so himself, many people. Yeah, and also he's been on the block so, like what, maybe four or five times, and he's like stayed. I know. Oh he's my god, stayed. we have to say okay. So the HOH before Tara's what Jed won, Jed. and they backdoored Kiefer. Yeah, and then Kiefer did this whole sad story, like sob story. I mean, sorry, and literally stayed, stayed and him. they kept him. That's the biggest move. Like, ah. Uh, you see, I know. this ag- aggravates me so much. I mean, but that's how you play the game. No, it's not. I feel like you get rid of the people that are good. Yeah, they the were Kiefer so... is good. Yeah, they don't move him. I know, but like they were but... so scared of Austin winning competitions, and they voted her out like fourth week. I know. Yeah, but she was gonna make it for sure. I know. I loved her, Austin. If you're listening by any chance, let's be friends, <laughs> please. Yeah. What's up from Montreal? Yeah. Hi. And you know what, everyone? I was supposed to be on Big Brother because I missed the cut. Like, literally, I was going to audition or whatever you do. Fill out that form. It was February 23rd, the deadline. Guess what day I went on, everyone? I went on February 24th. I was so mad. I was so mad. But it's okay. I'm going to be on it. It's my dream. That's crazy. We have to both, like, audition together. Yeah, I know. Oh, Oh, no, it's my dream to go on Big Brother. We have to I've been do amazing race too. so long to go with like my cousin and we're like we're like head like well we I mean you know like with school and stuff it was kind of hard yeah I know it still is hard but obviously. I mean oh I would definitely definitely I go know. we have to do amazing race together oh the amazing race is another one amazing race uh, Canada oh my god oh god imagine wait but you don't like flying no or is it your mom I mean it's all I don't like flying I just prefer if we can drive it'd be nice yeah mm-hmm. but no, but like, no, I mean, I would take a flight, but like over like seven hours, count me out. Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't even, I've never watched actually Amazing Race Canada because I've always watched Amazing Race US. Oh yeah, that's the thing about me, everyone. I only usually watch US shows, but she honestly yeah. got me into watching Big Brother Canada. And honestly, thank you because it's like so yeah. good this season. Like yeah. honestly, it's no, better it's than, the, it's better than the US. No, I did not just yeah. say that. That was not me. What are you talking about? Yeah. No, just because like. It's also a lunch yaller, so I it's know. a little bit more exciting. I know. I'm you surprised know? there's never anyone from friggin' Montreal ever. I know. Yeah. There's a lot of Toronto, like, Ontario people, which I was honestly oh, yeah. surprised. a lot of Ontario. I think even, like, Alberta, right? Yeah, Alberta, and I think Kiefer was from BC, and so was yeah. Tina. I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, yeah. But, yeah. Kind of had crazy. that other accent that we don't have, you know? I know. She was, like, what you at, Arissa? Yeah. All right, well thank you guys so much for listening and uh, let us know what you guys want us to talk about oh and follow us on our instagram page we have to promote ourselves yeah Hold on. true I'm we are a- reality dot podcast yeah, thanks for listening bye guys bye guys